from Lithuania. Seat number six. This is Viru Otoho, or Toho as his friends call him. On May 10th, I posted a video to Instagram that racked up over 320,000 views in four days. You'll be watching this video a few days later, so I'm definitely expecting more views to come in. It's safe to say that this one video is the most viral thing I've ever posted. And, as you'll find out, it sadly wasn't anything I came up with myself. It was just an old video from 2010 that I shared. So, for those of you who don't know, what's this all about? Well, let me give you a very quick and short backstory, which I will highly summarize. In early May, I went to the phone store and thought the guy's name was Mokinis. Instinctively, I felt that it wasn't actually a Lithuanian name that I had ever heard of, but everyone else working at the shop had their name in the same spot on their name tag. Well, let's just say I will never, for the rest of my life, forget that the word Mokinis means student or apprentice. His real name is Polis, by the way. So I was telling this story to a Lithuanian friend and big supporter of the channel, who told me that my story reminded him of something else he saw on the internet a few years ago. It was a poker tournament called the Irish Open, where a Lithuanian guy apparently gave his driver's license to the organizers, so that they could get his name. And they used the wrong line of text from that driver's license. Okay, well, enough of me explaining it. Here's a supercut of all the best parts. From Lithuania! Seat number six, this is Viru Otoho, or Toho as his friends call him, uh, economic student. Tutohuho has got two pair, and this could get expensive for Patrick. Pazzi Hajimus, or as his friends call him, Paz. Paz, with the two pairs bet out here. Lithuania, Ross, I believe, is, is sort of, you know, is becoming one of the growing uh, poker regions. Yeah, Eastern Europe, it's, it's all pretty big out there these days. And this Pez is an economic student. You gotta feel he's pretty solid on the odds. So yes, not only do the game commentators use the Lithuanian term for driver's license, instead of the guy's real name, but they even managed to pronounce it awfully. Viru Otoho, Pazi Hajimus. I think even worse than me. His real name, by the way, is Christianus Andrulis. And if his friends didn't call him Toho before, I bet they're calling him by that name now. Well, either that or Paz. So in a nutshell, my repost of that one video went somewhat viral. And it's been fun to see others get some joy out of this 13-year-old recording too. From my research, one website notes that Christianus Andrulis lists his residence as Cadene, Lithuania and his total live earnings sits at over $1.5 million. He's apparently 6th place in Lithuania when it comes to poker earnings, at least at the time I'm making this video. A 2012 article from the website 15min.lt says that Andrulis first started playing poker in 2007, and at one point was the champion of the European Poker Tour. Oh, and I see that PokerTube.com says that he's a performance coach, yoga enthusiast, and keen dancer outside of the game. This same page apparently has a link to his Instagram, but when clicking on it, it shows that the account isn't available. It's a huge shame, because I would have wanted to at least attempt making contact with him to ask him about that 2010 event. One person commenting on the Instagram video says in Lithuanian, Unfortunately, I remember that it's not a mistake. He called himself that but it would be funnier if it was a mistake. Well, to me, whether it was a mistake or done on purpose, I think it's hilarious. Just imagine if you won and they wrote out a check or sent a money transfer to him using the name Vairotoyo Pajimeyimas. But what do you think? Do you think this was done on purpose or was Christianus just feeling a bit mischievous that day? Or maybe it was something in the middle where they made the mistake and instead of correcting them before the tournament started, he just went along with it. Well, let me know what you think by leaving a comment. The word or phrase of the day is tapatibes cortale, which means identification slash ID card. Tapatibes cortale. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.